had a match up here the other night and they absolutely smashed the rays. So. Yeah, and uh, I think there was one pup caught as well, a hound pup. So, got some pedo and some herring. So, you see, the tide just started to flood. Obviously, anyone that ain't fish for it, it is a very shallow beach. Very, it comes in very quick, it'll come up to that wall, and then obviously, I'll be up in that wall within the next two hours. But, yeah, the fishing can be good here. Right, literally just put my second rod out on the peeler. Rod bent over within literally five minutes and I've got this beast. 14 pound bang on. That is a new PB for me. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. You look at the size of her. Off of the Essex beach as well. This is what I meant in one of my other videos, like the Essex beaches, these shallow beaches they can produce. But yeah, my first ray from Frinton as well, so yeah, hopefully we can bring some more. Alright, let's get her back. You know, I think I might have one on the other rod, on the herring bait. So. Water base. Look at that. Yeah, she's gone under. I'll come back down and check in a minute, make sure she's not washed up. One that size, you definitely want her back. See you soon. Look at this for a crab. Edible crab. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's edible. Big one. So I've just lost another ray in the surf. I've had two come off in the last like ten minutes. So. <coughs> Ow. Yeah. In back. See you soon. Alright. Now I'm just gonna get a crab for anyone that uh, ain't uh, done it or seen it before. You see, I'm up on the steps now, just for the wall. The wall the I'll run it down to us at the bottom of the steps and I'll be up on the wall. Yeah, it's just a bit deeper, so. Yeah, it's a nice peter. Frozen up from my last trip. I actually bought them when I went to Celsius a couple of weeks ago, but there was no point in doing them, so I had nothing. Yeah. And I went to to Point a couple of nights ago, and the wind was horrendous, so it was yeah, weird. I ended up leaving the hard water. Yeah, yeah so. There's no point peeing that because that shell just literally just slipped off. Right up. Uh, still lovely and juicy. I've got them from Colchester Bait and Tackle. Uh, I still had like 11 left after me. Session, so I've frozen down. Set them in sandwich bags. So you can backpack them. But it's to the point as I'll be using them again. Sorry for copping in this wind, it's too bad, but it's coming in from the side, so it's actually quite mild tonight. Yeah, that's what you want. A little peeve, well, obviously, that, that's what I have a ray on. Still can't believe that I had a ray that big. Yeah, I don't care what anyone says, obviously, my scales are bang on. You know, come up 14.3, the sling was free, so that's 14 pounds. Biggest ray up. I've ever seen and ever caught. So my biggest is ten, just over ten pounds. So yeah. But it's minus a little bit of breeze. What a night! Look at the moon tonight. Absolutely lovely. It's 
still got hours left to catch some fish. I've lost two, had one, so yeah, not too bad. Yeah, hopefully I can uh, bring you back with another fish soon. Just had another ray. Um, put it back. Come and check the footage and realised that I hadn't actually hit the record button. So a bit pissed with that. It was only probably uh, five six pounds. Back down on the beach now. So, uh, not long left now till uh, a bit more tired. It's actually been quite a good night. I've lost two in the surf. And I missed a slack liner. And when I was up on the wall, I had a lovely bite. The rod was just literally going mental, bending, pulling down. Hit it, well, it was, went all obviously uh, stiff and heavy and then just popped up. So, yeah, I don't know what happened there. camera might not do justice, but yeah, see when I walked up, so I wish I had a body cam because you actually see it coming through the waves, that's just something you know, ginormous, it was gobsmacked. You know, obviously I looked back on the footage and it does look pretty big still. So. Obviously I know I'll probably get comments saying that oh, it's not good, but that's what my scale said and I believe my scale was obviously I've I, 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 you know, I seen it with my eyes. Definitely, uh, yeah, I've had a couple of, uh, I've had 10 pound, uh, just 10, uh, 10 to, yeah, that made them in a little spot. Just gonna make up uh, two last baits and the uh, last herring bait and then the cleaver, bang them up in uh, maybe 20 minutes, half hour. two weeks my birthday so I'll be doing a birthday trip hopefully up Sussex depending or well, West Sussex depending on um, catch reports and I'm not going to go up there again if there's no catch reports but it'll be, it'll be uh, I don't know, probably Lance and Shoreham or Celsi maybe Bogna Regis yeah, if not there's no no reports it'll probably be with Culver going for hounds. This is my last form back uh, session. Target them probably till maybe late October, early November. So obviously now I'm with brains so we're switching to hounds. Hopefully some stingers, undulates, maybe even some small eyes if I can get up, get uh, some places that uh, target them. And yeah. Very brilliant new rods because one of them's bouncing away. Alright, well that's me done. I'm gonna pack up in a second. Let's 
uh, I actually had a white in. <coughs> Which didn't bother showing, obviously, no one cares. Yeah, yeah still, it's been <coughs> an enjoyable session. You see, I'm over the moon with that ray. I'm glad I come here tonight, obviously, I was going to go up Kent. I live in Essex and I don't really fish the Essex beaches that much, so yeah, it's nice to come down here. And especially get that result. Like I said earlier, this is going to be my last form back session anyway, so the next race session will hopefully be for 100. So that obviously it's going to be hounds now, hounds, hounds. So, uh, it's probably about Caught the four in the morning. Now tides were right at the bottom. I'm sleeping. Gonna leave my rods out there while I pack up and that. Let's see, because uh, you never know. But, yeah. Obviously, sorry, that obviously not much film for it. There's not really much I can do until I've got a GoPro and you know, get a chest. Uh, <coughs> Chest harness and things like things like that. I don't really feel safe having my phone out on the tripod outside. It falls over and smashes. So. But I am working on getting a GoPro. I just want to get a decent one. So yeah. So, hopefully you liked this one. Uh, if you did, just hit that like and subscribe button for me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.